So this movie's pretty much credited as one of the first zombie movies. Um, um, I would definitely say so. I don't think there's really anything that really goes this way. It's um, a pretty decently scary zombie movie for the start of the genre. It's a really fun movie. Conflicting opinions, all that stuff. It's it's really cool. Um, I loved how all the zombies were very different. It's not something we see in movies that much anymore. They all just are rotting and generic looking like, yeah, sure, the makeup looks cool. And I'm proud of the people that were behind the work. But I like seeing zombies that look different. And this movie definitely has that. We have naked zombies. Zombies that are missing one eye. Zombies that are ripped. Like there, uh, there's this one scene where this guy that must have been a bodybuilder or, you know, someone that lift weights or something. He's got a fucking six pack and he's a zombie. It's really cool. Um, you know, he's got his shirt off. So that's how you can tell. You know, all the different zombies are cool. There's continuity. There's a guy, a zombie, that gets his eye stabbed out, like, in the very beginning of the movie. And we see him later, and his eye's out. I did not expect that at all. Um, so we follow this girl. Um, you know, there's obviously the iconic, I'm coming to get you, Barbara line that's played in a lot of movies nowadays um, because of public domain. Um mm -hmm. So, um, he gets killed. She believes he's still alive for some reason. I guess the shock was too much. I do understand the shock thing. A lot of people didn't like that, that she was basically useless throughout the entire movie. But imagine you are going to go visit your father's grave. You've traveled hours. Your brother didn't even want to go. And he just saved your life from someone and was murdered right in front of you. You would probably be in shock, too. Um, I had no problem with her character in the movie, but apparently a lot of people did. I thought it I thought it was fine. It made sense. I didn't question it once. She didn't annoy me once. But apparently she annoyed a lot of people. Um, eventually, a new guy comes in and helps her. Um, he does smack her in the face at one point when she's arguing with him, which I was not a fan of. But, you know, it's apocalypse and everything, so I guess the rules are different. Plus, it is an older movie, so it's aged badly with that. Um, there's people hiding in the cellar. They end up coming to help. There's a lot of cool ways they decide to handle the zombies, like with Molotovs. And apparently fire is what scares them, like they're Frankenstein in this movie. Um, I guess it makes sense, but at the same time, it's kind of weird. They also say that, like, from, like, radiation from Venus or something is what caused people to turn into zombies. Um, I guess in this universe, all the, zomb the zombie apocalypse was just kind of ended. Not that the character survived and got to someplace safe or something or found a cure. It's just, like, ended. These people had been killing these people they figured out how to kill zombies and they aim for the brain all the time um you think the main character is gonna survive because he hides in the basement the zombies end up stop attacking he hears some noises and he goes upstairs to go escape you know he has help now but he gets shot in the head because they assume he's a zombie and the credits are just haunting they show him dead and them dragging his body to go be burnt it's it's an absolutely amazing movie um i'm surprised it took me so long to see it but i don't regret seeing it at all